guys, it's Katura here. It is Wednesday, the 27th, March. Um, I've been awake since 3 o'clock again. Actually, um, the reason why I'm making a video today is because I wanted to read you guys some more of my poetry. And I have one in mind called Rising in Love, Part 2. And basically, it's, ba it's about how I don't want to fall in love. I would rather rise in love with the man that I'm supposed to meet one day. So I hope you guys enjoy. This is called Rising in Love 2. Two. There we go. <clears throat> now, I may tell people that I have never been in love and no one has ever been in love with me. I've never fallen in love. Some people or everyone I have ever spoken to about it may think that for a woman of my age, 36, Never having fallen in love is a very sad thing. Well, I think the universe had something else entirely different for me to discover. I don't ever want to fall in love. Here's why. Think of the word fall. It's a very scary thing to fall. You feel like you're dropping from a very high place and may never recover. When you fall, you hit rock bottom. There is something beneath you that you have to hit, and you can't go any farther. When you are falling, whether it's one feet or 1,000 feet, it's absolutely terrifying. That is why I never, ever want to fall in love. No. What I want is ascension. I want to rise in love. I deserve to rise in love. When you rise, it is forever. I want a man that I can ascend in love with. I want our love to go to the highest frequency and never stop. Love is assuring. Love is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful, miraculous, and magical emotion. It's supposed to make you feel excited. Like every time you see your partner, you feel you could burst into a million stars. Love is supposed to make you feel like you're moving through clouds or make you feel like you're climbing the highest mountain but you never get winded. There is only beauty and continuous lessons in ascension because the journey never ends. It's always moving and changing and transforming. It's always ascending where the sky isn't even the limit. I would rather rise than fall with my lover or best friend Love is a joyful thing and deserves to be celebrated every day, continuously and endlessly. An infinite, touching, being, moving, loving, feeling, that higher frequency that goes beyond that intimate experience. That frequency, that vibration from the universe. The very first time my partner and I would accidentally touch thereafter, that nudge from the universe, we will, that nudge from the universe will be imprinted on us forever. Really, forever. Because there will be no, fa no, there will be no falling, only ascension. When you look down, there's gravity, there's falling, and there's the ground, an end. But when you look up, there's everything, infinity, eternity, a universal loving. I want a lover I can go beyond the stars with and never stop. We could rock this universe and show all of life how it's really done. That is why I never, ever want to fall in love. After all these years of watching and waiting, I want to ascend with him. I want to rise in love. So, thank you very much. That is Rising in Love Part 2. Or, yes, Rising in Love Part 2. <laughs> Um, if you want to actually read this version, I do have a um, blog. It's on Live Journal, and I will give you the link in the description below. And I hope you guys have a very nice day. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Um, send me a video about what you think. Um, let me know what you, what love is to you. If you want to rise in love, if you want to fall in love, and tell me why you want to fall in love. If that's what you want to do. So um, thank you very much. I love you guys and namaste. Peace out. Bye-bye.